Okay, kids, welcome back to the shop. We're going to go over the Kawasaki F11-250 problem. Throw this in the frame. So what was happening was the bike was hydro-locking. There was a oil in the exhaust and it was preventing the compression to exit through the exhaust therefore causing hydro lock which is it's a little different most of the time you get hydro lock that's actually in the cylinder I believe it was the exhaust and if you watch all of the videos you can see how the exhaust was saturated so the problem was that this was sticking. It was sticking at about the halfway mark. So as the bike was running, it wasn't coming back to returning to this point. It was staying open, therefore flooding oil into the system and the excess oil just saturated the exhaust. But the way it should be is these marks line up, you increase the throttle, and as you increase the throttle, you have output to one of these, is an output to the uh, cylinder and to the intake side, and this is to lubricate the, the bearing. <clears throat> Now one of the questions that kept coming up, and I even said it in, I think it was part two, was we should never remove this because it lubricates the main bearings, which is true, you shouldn't. But what I have in front of you is the shop manual. And what it does is it explains how the lubrication works and it was just exactly like I said that the pump will pump oil to the intake side and it will mix with the gasoline and it will pump it to the crank side but also what it says down here which is I have to try to find it but it's this I'm hoping you guys can zoom in on it. It says right here, a notch which is cut into the big end of the connecting rod enables the fuel oil mixture to reach the crank pin and crankshaft bearings. So the point I'm trying to make here is we need the pump. There's no doubt about it. But that little bit that I ran it without the pump the connecting rod and crankshaft bearings were getting lubricated. So that was, I, I got hammered with a bunch of questions about that. So hopefully that clears things up. The problem definitely was the oil pump. The other thing I'm gonna do is <clears throat> the the exhaust is still seeping oil. I am going to put a drain plug in the elbow of the exhaust to keep draining it. I think that's a that's a good idea. I'm not cutting that exhaust apart. There's no way. So hopefully, guys, that explains what happened with the Kawasaki. More of those videos are going to be coming back out. Thanks for watching. Please give me a thumbs up.